this is Sassy77. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, look at me. I'm trying to uh, slowly use this to not have to have my um, camera focused on items in my collection, which, you know, if everyone would prefer that, I can certainly go back to that. But I thought I'd give this a chance. Um, I'm using Canva, uh, which I have used before, and it's been interesting on some of my longer videos and trying to upload them so this time I'm trying to go directly in Canva to see if I can just get audio added to the background and show off my awesome logos done by GFX Kate uh, I will have her link down below. She's responsible for my logo, my little profile picture that incorporates JJ and Kiddly, which I love. And if you look at the background, um, in some of these spots, you can see Baby Yoda. You can see the Millennium Falcon, which she worked with me um, quite a bit on some of the things. Like she watched a couple of my videos and she had some ideas and... I had some ideas and a little bit of tweaking here and there. So it was great working with her. Um, you'll see some other channels, some other small channels have used her as well. And I love my um, intro video because I basically squealed when I saw it. It just floored me that I would have something so sophisticated uh, when I'm just using an iPhone. <laughs> basically propped up against um, a speaker from a um, regular PC. So it's been a learning curve. And those of you who have been with me all along, thank you so much um, for dealing with my little elementary, because uh, I would not call myself definitely a YouTuber. I'm just making videos for fun. So what I just wanted to talk about very briefly is just in case, but Star Wars Theories channel has been under attack. They tried to demonetize him. Now they're going after his uh, fan Vader, uh, his Vader film, which is great. So if you haven't seen it, um, please watch it. Uh, it's a, it's amazing how fan made videos are getting more views than the Rotten Acolyte and other Disney Star Wars Lucasfilm projects. So I do think there's a lot of jealousy there. There has been, uh, threats against his life, wishing he would self-delete, and all this other stuff. Look, other channels go into a lot more detail. I, I'm not, you know, I don't know how to pull up and show, share my screen and everything, but Geeks and Gamers, and they have covered it. Of course, Theory has made his own videos and and everything um, about this uh, coordinated attack that was against Basically, now they're blaming these channels that were supposedly before the fringe that, you know, it's the vocal minority, ignore them, they don't represent. Now they're trying to say that they influence people to not watch the acolyte. I'd say the sorry shit show is what caused people to not watch it. Um, if you have seen my videos before, you know I was out after Kenobi and uh, season three Mandalorian. Uh, I, I have not watched Ahsoka and or Bad Batch, which I was enjoying Bad Batch. I haven't watched the two seasons after. I wasn't even watching any of these content creators if they were covering Star Wars because I was done. And y'all know I <laughs> my sassy self got quite awakened when fans were attacked ahead of the show, The Acolyte, even coming out. And I'll say this. <laughs> When they first announced everything, Star Wars Theory was very excited. He actually had more favorable reviews of Kenobi than I would have done. So he really, he, he has really tried his best to be on board with what they're doing. And now that he's speaking out, then now he's a problem. Um, he is the biggest Star Wars YouTube channel um, other than Star Wars itself. So, of course, there's a lot of jealousy. But I want to say this. Um, I actually found Star Wars Theory before I found any of these other channels. Um, I, I was trying to love the, the sequel trilogy and everything. And I kind of found him during a time... Um, that I was going through the most uh, significant depression I was going through in my life. 
And it was to the point that um, that depression was so bad, I could not listen to music. And if you've gotten to know me or you uh, follow me on X or whatever, um, I am deeply tied to music. Music helped me with my grief journey through when my dad passed away, uh, through when my brother passed away, um, losing a sibling, even when you're adults is, is, um, is very, very, very difficult. Um, that was extremely hard. And during that time, I was caring for my mom who was in rapidly declining health. And we had to get in the car and drive a lot. So I had to pretend like I was okay. She probably knew. <laughs> she probably knew. I mean, she, she had lived with us for a very long time. So she probably knew I was going through a really bad depression. And um, I just could not listen to music. Could not do it. It just, it just was like putting salt on an open wound. I just couldn't do it. So I needed to listen to something because I had a 30 minute one way drive to work and I had, um, her to take her all over the place for her doctor's appointment because they bounced her back and forth because they were too stupid to realize what was going on with her, that it was the downward spiral, which I could feel it. I, that was part of the depression too. I could feel it. Um, and so I could feel like this awful change coming and I just, whatever. So I just couldn't deal with music. And she was into music too. If you've ever heard me talk about her, or seen me mention on X that deep, music is deep in our family. Um, I still play clarinet. I play in a community band and y'all were probably tired of seeing me talk about it. If you've seen me in live chats or whatever, especially Mead Radio. Sorry, Mead Radio. Um, so... I just, um, it was just a very, very, very difficult time. And so I was just, you know, looking, scanning through YouTube. And so listening to, I found Star Wars Theory. I believe I found Star Wars Explained and they just did not resonate with me. Star Wars Theory did. And listening to his takes not just his takes, but his fan theories, his fictions, his coverage of the um, of the comic books, which I think at the time, you know, he was kind of, he was hoping to see some of the threads in TLJ, you know, the, the um, Last Jedi move into Rise of Skywalker and all this stuff. So it was the build up in Rise of Skywalker. So it was 2019. And, um, I'm sad to say I found Mike Zero and did not know he was a grifter. <laughs> so I was believing some of his theories, but then I would listen to Star Wars theory and realize, eh, no, I don't, I don't know that Mike Zero is right. And so funny because my mom was riding with me one day and Mike Zero was talking and she's like, this is so stupid. I'm like, what are you talking about? She goes, he's talking like he believes all that stuff is real. What, what do you mean? Oh, he sounds like he thinks everything is real. Like, what? why are you even listening to this? So, Mama knew uh, <laughs> he was off. I did not know. But it was really Star Wars. His, he also, one thing Star Wars Theory also did do is he was into the books, um, Master and Apprentice. Uh, he was very pleased with that. So, I got that. And during one of the times that my mom was... Um, probably the last few weeks that she was alive and that she was um, hospitalized. I went ahead and got the audio um, book for that. And I believe the one about Count Dooku, I can't remember the name of it right this second, but because he reviewed those and gave them good reviews, I listened to them and really enjoyed them myself. So like he kind of just having that escape and having a way that was not music because it just hurt too much was a big deal for me. And it was really a good help. And so I did re go into that. I did read um, a few of the expanded universe novels um, that I could check out through Kindle. So it just, it helped me through a lot of things. It was not negative. 
I, I listened to, I was through that depression. I'm through it, y'all, okay? I, I'm fully immersed um, back into music and back into that way of dealing with things, especially when my mom passed away that later that year. So, I mean, I'm fine. But I will say... <laughs> About a year and a half ago, I think I, I kind of commented, he, he'll post stuff on X, Twitter, whatever you call it. He'll post it and then he'll just kind of walk away. And I think that particular time he was kind of, it was right after he posted it. And I think it was after a Drunk Cobra Theory um, uh, live stream that I made that comment that it was a good, you know, that his, his videos are just listening to those on my commute when I couldn't listen to music was a very big help. And, you know, he actually replied and was very flattered, but also said, please let me know. To, are you okay? And so I thought that was very, very nice of him. Cause I mean, look, he's got 3.3 million subscribers. I'm just a peon and um and everything like that so that that meant a lot he re he really is a caring person i just uh do think that he's backed in a corner and he's had it he's had it so i just kind of made this quick little video just to talk about how i stand behind him because even when he doesn't like it he's a little bit more vocal it is stuff i agree with it's stuff that i have as i thought about it and again, y'all have, if you're new to my channel, check out my video that <laughs> has the thumbnail, Disney Hates Men, and it's Kathleen Kennedy's um, head on the uh, T T-800 endoskeleton body, because I call her the Terminator of Lucasfilm, but it's called uh, From a Certain Female Point of View. It's actually part one. I believe it has blue writing on it. I describe kind of my journey, and you'll notice I kind of talk about a couple YouTubers, but to say that they have influenced me and my disenfranchisement with them, with Star Wars, is not true whatsoever. I am not, I am not impacted by how other people think or they tell me to think or act or anything else. I am definitely myself. So if it took me a while to, because sometimes you think you see it, you think you see it at first and you're like, oh, this is great. This is Star Wars. This is wonderful. And then you start to think about it and you're just like, wait a second. They just said that R2-D2 sat in standby mode. For one, Luke left him, which would never happen. Two, he sat in standby mode for years. How sad is that? How I mean, how outrageously sad is that? You couldn't think what to do with R2-D2 but to say that he was in standby mode? Like, what the fuck? I mean, really? Like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting tired. I'm getting ready to get riled up and I don't need to because I just wanted to make this as but it's just kind of you think you like it at first because it's oh look lightsabers it's oh look x-wings oh oh my gosh it's the sound of the tie fighter oh it's the millennium falcon and it's all these things that you have seen and dealt with your whole life and it's always been a part of your life and you feel bad if there's something in there that you don't like. So you just like, oh, wow, uh, it's going to be better. It's going to get better. I'm going to read this book. And this book has clues. And this is where they're going. Like, you know, this can't be. I know that I wanted nothing more. I did not want Ray to be the child of Luke or Leia because the Luke and Leia we grew up with would never have abandoned their child. Never, especially Luke. There is no way either one of them would have abandoned a child on a desert planet with nobody to raise because they were both raised in love. They were adopted and raised by people who were not their parents, but those people loved them and they loved those parents. There would be no way in this world they would abandon a child. So at least they didn't do that. So... I mean, at least that's one thing I can say for Disney Fuck Wars. They did not do that. So 
I'm just saying you start, you, you, you think you love it and then you start to think about it. And I do think that's what happened. That definitely happened with Star Wars Theory for Rise of Skywalker because he loved it at first. He gave it raving reviews, but you know why? Because it undid The Last Jedi. It gave, it gave Luke a little bit of heroism. It, it undid the worst parts of it. But then that kind of pissed off the, the, the Last Jedi people. And it was a hot mess. So once he started thinking about it, and then once he started appearing on other people's channels, I had checked out some of those channels and stuff like that. And I'm like, I just don't know what's wrong. What is it that I don't like? And then I'm like, oh, I'll just ignore that. And then when The Mandalorian came out, I totally ignored the sequel trilogy. I'm like, yeah, this is what it should have been. This feels like Star Wars. It, now, I know people have some problems with it. I know people don't like Baby Yoda, Grogu. Y'all know I'm a big Grogu fan. I'm in love with Grogu. If I had a child, it would be Grogu. <laughs> but anyhow, I'm just joking, y'all. Just joking. I'm not that far gone. Uh, I'm no, I'm no uh, acolyte fan. But anyhow, those people are definitely unhinged. But again, I just thought that, you know, things could be better they should have been a lot better there is no excuse for what they've done and as he has gotten more vocal um the more hate he's put up with because he did get some hate after rise of skywalker being called a shill and everything and i did not ex i didn't view him as that because i thought i liked it too because the music it had a sweeping i'm gonna have to share this uh link um to one of the tracks it's kind of peppered throughout because here I go about music it's peppered all throughout and um it's not really its own cohesive thing like Leia's theme or or whatever but it's absolutely gorgeous it has sadness and grief and then then um triumph happiness riling riling yourself up and feeling better and then and then finally peace and then finally love and all I just hear all this stuff in that one track so I'll have to um share that in a, in conjunction with this but anyhow again just because you don't like something and it has you know LGBTQ plus it has uh people of color women or whatever that doesn't mean that's why you don't like it when you try to argue online and say these are the story beats I don't like, then they call you nitpicky. Then they call you, oh, well, you just want to hate it. No, uh, I've talked at length about what's wrong with the Acolyte um, in one of my other videos. I think it was the Disney Hates Men Part 2. Um, but, I mean, you can't change some basic things of storytelling um, and it's vapid. It's just, you know... It's a hot mess. It, I saw better writing in a slam book when I was 12 years old. More cohesive plot than that. But again, he, um, you know, again, this is a I Stand With Star Wars Theory video. And I don't know if I'm going to release it or not. Uh, but, you know, I just wanted to kind of get that off my chest. I do want to go back to um, some independent things. I'm going to look into uh, live streaming a little bit. I don't, I don't have a whole lot of people who watch my videos, but there's some uh topics like that star shatter series the author would like to get involved in some of those and that will be very fun he um if you look at my actually disney hates disney star wars hates men part one there are so many comments and it's by tons of lifelong female fans who feel the same way i do about the current state of Star Wars. And, uh, you know, it's it's a lot of very good discussion. Uh, I would invite anyone who's feeling a little funky, if you feel like you're by yourself as the only female that doesn't like it, and you've been a part of it your whole life, and now you're being insulted and attacked for not liking it, um, then you can see you're not alone. And, and that journey is different for all of us and what that, what Star Wars means to us and why we're still so passionate about it. Um, and things like that. But anyhow, I'm, I'm trying to make a 30 minute video, but if you've stayed this long, thank you so much. Please like, and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, I don't have a regular schedule for doing these videos and we'll see if this one works. Thank you so much and have a great day.